Let the playoffs begin. Mission Viejo Diablo softball looks for another trip to the championship. It's a wild card in baseball and a repeat champion in girls lacrosse. It's all next on South County Sports Zone. Hi everyone, welcome to South County Sports Zone inside the MVTV studio. I'm Gordon Spencer. Momentum and pressure seems to be a good thing in sports. A good example, the Capitol Valley Cougars baseball team having to win the very last game of the regular season just to make the playoffs. Now in order to get to the first round of Division II, they had to win a wild card game against Tustin, the number three team out of the Empire League. Tustin 16-13. Capital 15 and 15, bottom of the first capital with the bases loaded, two outs. Josh Solomon is plunked by Rodney Boone. Bryce Willett scores 1-0, Capo. Bases still loaded for Kevin Wood, and he strikes out. Foul tip is grabbed by Met Alizaldi. He holds on to end the inning, 1-0 after one, top of the second. Tussin's Jake Reed pops one into foul ground. Somebody call it, Blake Fitzgerald does. To record the out. Bottom of the second, two on, two outs. And Capos de Lillo Tuitico scores on a wild pitch. Two nothing, Capo. Top of the third, Tustin loads the bases with one out. David Dorado, a deep fly ball in the right center. Michael Oliveras scores. Tustin down two to one. Then Christopher Lopez at the plate. He sneaks one through the right side. Derek Soto coming around. He scores to tie the game at two. Top of the fifth, Connor Martin settles in for Capo Valley. Makes the nice play to end the fifth. The flip over and the out to end it. Bottom of the fifth, Capo with a runner at second. Two out. Tutico singles. And Josh Solomon coming around to score. He stays on his feet. 3-2 Capo. Top of the six, one on, one out for Tustin. And Connor Martin, oh, a pitcher's friend and the defense's friend. A double play to end the inning. A big one. Ryan Doherty flipping the ball to the mound. Bottom of the six, Capo with second and third, one out. And Martin doubles. That's going all the way to the fence. He's helping himself out. Two run score. Riley Casper. And Ryan Doherty, Capo leading it 5-2. Then Josh Solomon with a runner on. He'll single. That one goes into left field. Here comes Patrick Mitten. He slides in safely. 6-2 Capo. Running away here in the wild card. Top of the seventh. Tustin needs runners, but Connor Martin strikes out Olivares. And Capo moves on. A 13-hit attack in the wild card game, 6-2. Martin 4-0 to win the 6-2 wild card game. Division two, round one. Laguna Beach, the number one team out of the Orange Coast League. Tribuco Hills, the number one team out of the Seaview League. Laguna Beach, the Division four champs in 2016, now in Division two, and they look good. Top of the first, Laguna Beach wasting no time. First and third, one out. For Colton Freeman, he singles in Dante Faikio. One nothing Laguna Beach. Seven batters and five hits in the first for Laguna Beach. Cutter Clausen, the RBI. Dustin Angus hustling home. He makes it. It's two to nothing Laguna Beach. Bottom of the first. Tribuco Hills with a chance. First and third. The hit to third. Ryan Thiebert. Oh, he started to go. He's caught off the bag. Remember that one. It's 2-0 after one. Top of the third. Still 2-0 Laguna Beach after a leadoff single. Cutter Clausen. That's going deep. That's going to bounce off the fence. An RBI double. Colton Freeman hustling around. 3-0 Laguna Beach. They're feeling it. Then Connor Casino. The squeeze. Look at this bunt. Perfect. Up the line. Cutter Clausen scores 4-0 Laguna Beach. Then just a pure hustle play. Aiden Booth 
They hit to the right side. Grady Morgan all the way from second scores. 5-0 Laguna Beach. Bottom of the third, Tariko Hill, second and third, two out for Dan Johnson to second. Looks routine, bad throw, it gets away. Ryan Kearney, Matt Wong, score. Tariko Hill's down, 5-2. Top of the fourth, Laguna Beach gets one of those back off new pitcher, Ryan McCarroll. Runner at second, Dustin Angus. And Faikio, that's a run, 6-2 Laguna Beach. First four innings, Laguna Beach had the leadoff batter on. Bottom of the fifth, Tribuco Hills gets it going with second and third, nobody out. Ryan Kearney to right, enough to score. Nick Hiley, he trots in, Tribuco Hills down 6-3. Then Dan Johnson hits to third. That's short, actually. Tribuco Hills trails by two now, it's 6-4. to Top of the sixth, Laguna Beach gets a run back. Will Bond knocks in Dante Faikio. He scores, Laguna Beach up seven to four. Then Dustin Angus whacks one to right. That's over Thiebert's head. Bond's gonna score. It's eight four, Laguna Beach. Bottom of the sixth, new pitcher for Laguna Beach. After a leadoff walk, Nick Hiley. Oh, that's, that's, that's gone. A two run blast. Tribuco Hill's not going away. And it is an eight to six ball game. Tribuco Hills down again by two. Then with two out, Matt Wong. That's going, that's going, that's going. It's off the fence. That's gonna score another run. And Tribuco Hills down just one. It's eight to seven. Bottom of seven. Andrew Hacker leads off with a walk, but tries to seal second. He's out. Huge play by Laguna Beach catcher Aiden Booth to Dustin Angus. Ouch. That's the first out. After a strikeout, it was up to Dylan Tanner, but the grounder to short and the out. And Laguna Beach moves on. Their first win in the Division II playoffs. An impressive one. Faikio, three for four, three runs and an RBI. Angus, three for four and two runs batted in. The teams combined for 24 hits. Well, it was a great season that ended a little early for Tribuco Hills baseball. They won the league title in dramatic style over at Dana Hills, but their season has come to an end. We're going to step aside, take a break. When we come back, softball playoffs begin, and girls lacrosse crowns a champion. The greatest thrills and excitement are awaiting you right in your own backyard. The CIF Southern Section and your SoCal Ford dealers encourage you to go to a game at your local high school. Unbelievable action is right in your community. You'll be amazed at what you've been missing. Supporting your local school has never been more fun. Go to a game this week. Welcome back to South County Sports Zone. Mission Viejo softball has won two championships over the past three seasons. This year, the scenery is a little bit different as they move from Division II to Division I. First round, MLK of Riverside out of the Big Eight League, home of number one Norco. Mission Viejo ranked number five in Division I, top of the first after a leadoff double by Ashley Inay. Charisma Guzman follows it up with an RBI triple. MLK leads it quickly, one to nothing. Bottom of the first, Mission Viejo gets the tying run on. Tara McGowan is out. Alyssa Barella to Ashley Inne, and the, that's the final out of the inning. Bottom of the third, two on one out for Mission Viejo's Bella Loya. Her at bat changes everything. That's a three run blast to right Mission Viejo with three straight hits. And quickly a 3-1 lead. Kira Snyder in the circle for Mission Viejo. Settled down after that first inning. Gets the inning ending strikeout. Bottom of the fourth, Mission Viejo against new pitcher Amaya Aponte. And Tara McGowan with two on doubles in Allison Rawls and Olivia Vigiano. Mission Viejo up five to one. Top of the sixth, here comes King. Runners at second, 
One out for Mackenzie Meach, a ground rule double. Ashley in a scores 5-2. A wild pitch would make it 5-3. Top of the seventh now after a walk and an error. King threatens, but Cameron Ibarra saves the game, keeping anyone from scoring. Then two on, two out, two two count. Snyder gets the strikeout. Mission Viejo survives their first Division I playoff game, 5-3. Yeah, we got this first round under our belt. Um, you know, first win in Division I CIF. Kids are excited. They're all going to be tough. We knew they were all going to be tough. Uh, they were prepared, excited coming on in, and, uh, and it was a nail-biter, and we came out on top. I, it's so fun. Always a competition. Just really honored to be here, have such a great team behind me, and it was just a great time. Um, not nervous at all. I knew that we were going to come back. It was only the first inning. We had a lot of ball game left. So we were just thinking we just got to get on the board and just keep doing what we're doing. So again, 5-3 the final. Tara McGowan, 3-for-3. Three three. Two runs batted in. Snyder gets the win. Mission Viejo moves on. How about some girls lacrosse? The Orange County Lacrosse Championship. Number one modern day, number two Foothill. A rematch of last year. Modern day looking to go back to back. A scoring frenzy to start. Eight goals in eight minutes. Emma gone. Foothill up two to one. And modern day is down three two. And Tess Kaiser, Grace Hauser combined for that quick goal to tie it at three. Foothill takes the lead back. Brooke Williams on the penalty gets the goal. And the Knights a 4 3 advantage. Then Modern Day on a 4-1 scoring run. Riley Bartlett just scoots in and scores 7-4 Modern Day. Modern Day adds two more on a 6-1 run now. And this a penalty, Tess Kaiser gives Modern Day a 9-4 advantage. Foothill gets a couple back. Ashley Stokes, Foothill's now down 9-6. Then Foothill gets within two. Bree Radovich somehow gets through that crowd and scores. 9-7, modern day at the half. Again, looking to go back to back. Cressida Bowman doing a nice job leading that program. Modern day comes out firing in the second half. Mackenzie Wallavan, but a great save by Becca Nalon. Can't catch her Foothill on a 4-1 scoring run. Lauren Kilger. Foothill is down just 10-9 now. But Modern Day back to a two-goal lead thanks to number eight, Grace Hauser. Look at her battling the defense, getting the score 11 to nine. Modern Day Monarchs, Modern Day able to stay on top. Watch Lauren Gonzalez battle. She knocks it away, picks it up, and scores to ice it. Modern Day goes on to win it by a final score of 13-9, winning back-to-back -back championships. Foothill just two second-half goals. Congratulations to the Modern Day Monarchs for winning the Girls Lacrosse Orange County Championship. Also, congratulations goes out to the Mission Viejo Boys Track and Field Team, winning their first Division II title since 1998. And congratulations to Sean Lee of Tribuco Hills, he won his third straight Division I high jump title. That's going to do it for us here at South County Sports Zone. Don't forget missionviejolife.org and cityofalisoviejo.com for all of the episodes. Thanks for watching. I'm Gordon Spencer.